it's at least morning for us. I don't know when you're watching this. It could be afternoon, evening, nighttime, 4 a.m. Awesome if you get to see this video. Hopefully its content is worth the thumbs up. We are out garbage picking. It's 8.30 a.m. Just pulled into our very first neighborhood. This one's a little sketchy for us because we have competition with other scrappers. Mostly scrappers. I don't see a whole lot of resellers, you know, picking stuff up. So it really is mostly just the scrappers and the garbage trucks. <laughs> we have to kind of race the garbage trucks. They clear stuff out pretty early around here for the most part. So we're gonna get going, hit these neighborhoods, look for anything we can scrap, paint, resell, redo, repurpose, that kind of thing. So we'll let you know as we pick it up. All right, so we passed this cul-de-sac. We've seen some stuff. Looks like somebody might have been moving the house. It's either for sale or sold. And we just passed something else too that we might grab. Sale pending. Oh, I usually, oh, that's stained up. That's broken. I don't really see anything. We'll still keep. Yeah, as good as that pile looked, we aren't taking couches. And everything else was not worth grabbing. Oh well, I mean, it happens. Somebody might have got there before us. But up here, it does appear that there is a wheel barrel. All right, I've seen something. This is what I originally seen. Oh, but it's cracked. All right, it has plugs. I don't really understand the holes though. So I'm going to leave it. It's been a while since I've had to uh, understand kids' items like <laughs> Keegan's almost 12. Alright, on to the next. Okay, so none of these seem to match, which is weird. That one's clearly broken. Let me see if I want to take any of these single chairs. What do you mean they've been re-glued? Even with the paint, I like that one. Oh, are you talking about like... Yeah. Well, they're... Okay, so this one's cracked. I am taking that one. I don't care that there's paint on it. I'm on the fence about those ones. Alright, so the other ones are a no-go, but... I think I like this one. It's not so bad. I don't really care about the paint. <laughs> well, do you want to just take that one then? Yeah, I don't like this one. Okay, we'll leave it. Ooh, tis the season. Little trellis. Sturdy. Good wood. I will take it. Spotted. Blanket ladder. But it's going to be. Ooh, it's sturdy too. Saves me the time of cutting them up at the when I'm buying at the auctions. That one's like ready to go. That's really pretty. And that can just be scrapped. Well, we're not finding a whole lot of metal, so the chances are that. There was a scrapper before us, but we're finding a couple of things. Put that in there with the rest of it. That is not what we want to see. Trash cans are flipped over. Alright, so we'll probably scurry out of this neighborhood. Pro garbage picking tip, if you're on the route, and you gotta use the bathroom, look for a construction site because they always have 
a uh, ported shot. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. None of the roofing guys or the guys on the roof, none of them even seem to notice. We're just kind of parked out here, peeping the scene. It's hilarious. But we did seem to maneuver back to uh, the land of trash. So we are going to get going here soon. Let's see if we can get this off. Yes, we can. So if you're wondering why we did grab that, it's the base to a bird bath. The top part broke off. So there's some screws underneath. We'll have to take that piece that broke off, off of the base. And then we can put a piece of wood on top and voila. You have a cute little side table with an awesome base. Rich not paying attention. Drove right past it, which means I gotta walk it all the way back to the trailer. Alright, it's in. I was a little bit gentle with it. Microwaves are expensive. I'll test it if it works. Might replace mine. Or I'll put it up for sale. And our last little stretch of this route. So we're back at the house. Start off with the scrap metals. I don't know, that looks kind of rough, but the tire seems alright. Like, completely fine. So that might be a decent wheelbarrow. And then that's a whirlpool, so I'm kind of hoping that it works. So that was kind of the scrap kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know if that's scrap. And I'm not sure if that's scrap. But that's the metal stuff that we picked up. And then this was kind of the rest of our hauls. I was really hoping that that chair had a tag on it, but it doesn't. It's old. It's cool though. It's dirty. Our trellis. Now this is what I was saying about this. This used to be a bird bath. You can clearly see where the bird bath basin broke off but underneath there's just a couple of these screws that holds this plate so those come out this part comes off and you're left with a really pretty base and the bottom is weighted as you can see so you can put you know a good size round tabletop on it stain it real pretty turns out awesome I believe that is oil. I don't know why there's glass, but I am going to assume that that's not the original frame. You can kind of see it's taped. And then, of course, the blanket ladder. I have no problem selling these, and I think I only have one left right now, so that was actually a really good score for me. And that's kind of our haul for this morning. Not too bad. Kind of wish we would have gotten more scrap because we are running low and it's easy. You know, load it up. You don't have to wait for a buyer. You don't have to fix anything. You don't have to stain, paint, nothing. You just throw it in a pile, take it in, and they give you money for it. So that's kind of nice. But this stuff I can definitely do something with. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll do it again soon. Bye.